In today's video, we're going to talk about how to make more with your Caspa miner using Bitcoin. In today's video, we're talking about Caspa, Caspa, and more Caspa. Everybody's been talking about Caspa recently. And if you're a member of my Discord, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Over the last several weeks, we've all been talking about Caspa, whether it's where to buy a Caspa miner, what resellers we enjoy buying from, who's seeing the most profits, are you solo mining, are you pool mining, uh, as well as what hardware you're using for Caspa, whether it's a KS0 or KS1 or two, or maybe something like the KS3. We've all been talking about Caspa in my Discord, and I don't blame anybody. Caspa has been really profitable recently, especially with the pump that we've seen over the last few weeks. So. If you enjoy talking about mining or maybe Caspa, come over to the Hobbyist Miner Discord. We have a variety of different channels out there for all walks of miners. Newbies that are just getting into the scene, GPU miners, ASIC miners, utility miners, whether you're mining in your basement, your shed, you know, your attic, whatever it is, we're talking about mining over at the Hobbyist Miner Discord. And I'd love to see you guys join us. We are at almost 10,000 strong in the Hobbyist Miner Discord. And well, I'd love to have you. So. Check out the link directly down below to join the Hobbyist Miner Discord. So if you're checking out this video, you're kind of intrigued by our title of earning more Caspa with Bitcoin or making more Caspa profits. And I don't blame you. Everybody's looking to earn a little extra something currently in the bear market. Whether you're mining Caspa directly to a pool and collecting it right to your wallet address, there's nothing wrong with that. I've actually been trying it out on solo mining over the last few months and it's been great except for up for the last few weeks. I don't know about you guys, but if you've been solo mining Caspa, you've seen a huge decrease in the number of blocks that you've been hitting. Maybe I'm wrong. Correct me down below. Let me know how your Caspa miner has been doing. So in today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different and it may absolutely be a home run. What we're going to do is we're going to utilize our Caspa miners to earn Bitcoin. However, here's the kicker. We're actually going to be setting this up on nice hash. Now, some of you guys might be like, whoa, I'm done with the video. I don't need to do that. I'm already doing well. Well, hear me out. So those of you guys that have followed my channel for some time now, you've seen me put a lot of this word of mining to nice hash to the test, comparing it against a variety of different pools. And I'll be honest with you, no other pool has come close to beating out nice hash. And we've done some pretty significant tests, three different tests actually. And I'll put links to all of those down below. We've taken three identical miners on Bitcoin on three different pools, one of them being nice hash, and we've run them for 30 days. And then we've compared the results after 30 days, all those miners at the exact same location, all the exact same models. And what have we found? Well, time and time again, nice hash has come out ahead and how far ahead? Well, at the peak, 7% more Bitcoin earned over 30 days. I don't care who you are. 7% more Bitcoin is a home run. So in this video, we're gonna set up my Ice River KS0 to mine to nice hash and get paid out in Bitcoin. Alrighty, so we have two Ice River KS0s, which are Caspa miners, and they're perfect for homeowners. They're quiet, they only use 65 watts, and they're not some massive investment. Now, we have a stock one right over here, and this one definitely gets really hot to the touch. We're not gonna play with that one today. We're gonna play with this one. So if you guys have not seen, I've actually done a video comparing these two together. And this one has a few different fan changes. The first thing is it has this AC Infinity fan on here that actually comes with a controller and utilizes the USB port. And it actually, so you got a variety of different modes on there and it gives you, it's a little sloppy with the extra cables, but it does give you that extra USB port back because it only has one. So keeps it significantly cooler. Then on the back side, we actually replaced both of our fans. These are actually aftermarket Noctua fans. Now this one is one of the early ones, doesn't have any of the Noctua fans, and these things are pretty garbage. But we've gone ahead and replaced them with these Noctua ones, and the fact that we've put this bad boy on here, 120 millimeter fan, it keeps this thing nice and cool versus this one, which you feel like is gonna melt something. So let's go ahead and get our Ice River KS0 plugged in, and let's get it set up on NiceHash to earn us some Bitcoin. All 
All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So go on over to nicehash.com and then make yourself an account. Once your account's made, you're set and ready to go. I actually set up a brand new sub account just to go ahead and show this exactly how you're gonna see it. So we wanna set up our Ice River KS0 to mine on the K heavy hash, that's the algorithm it uses, to nice hash, and then get paid out in Bitcoin. So once we're over on nice hash, you're gonna click mining in the upper left-hand corner, and this is your typical screen that you would see. Now, do you see in the upper right-hand corner, it says download miner or add ASIC. We're gonna click there. And you, have, you can download some software if you're running this on like a PC or running it on a GPU mining rig. But the fourth option down is connect your ASIC device. So go there and it's going to give you a drop down. Click there and start to type in K heavy. There we go. Once you select that, first field is going to ask you for your miner name. So I'm going to do KS0 underscore. And I just always name everything with the IP address. It makes it easy for me. So the, the IP address of it ends in 29 on my network. So we're pretty much ready to go. So let's go ahead and jump over to our KS0. All right, we're up on our KS0 and we're not mining or anything because there's no pool set. So let's go to mining settings. And the first thing it's gonna ask us for is the pool address. So let's jump back over to NiceHash and we can go ahead and see it's actually giving us our stratum URL. So we'll copy that and we'll go back over here and we'll paste that directly into that spot. The next is gonna ask us for wallet and worker. So we're gonna go back over and you see down here where it says username and it actually has the, it's actually an address. Now this might not match your Caspa address. It actually won't match your Caspa address. This is actually a Bitcoin address on NiceHash. I'll explain in a minute. But this bottom field here where it says username, go ahead and click copy. We're then gonna go back over to our ice river and paste in there. Finally, it's asking for a password. We're gonna jump back over to NiceHash and it just has an X. So I'm gonna put an X right in there and that's it. Go ahead and in the bottom right-hand corner, click save. All right, after you hit save, go ahead and hit home in the upper left-hand corner. You're gonna see now down around the pool information, you can see it's connected. It may take a minute, but it won't really take that long. And you can see it's connected and it'll tell you how many accepted, which is 25 so far. So now let's jump back over to NiceHash. And you can see right here, look, it's been honestly a minute and you can see it's already shown up. KS0 underscore 29 and unmanaged. That's fine, perfect, sounds good. So how exactly will this work? Well, give it honestly, I'd say give it a good hour or more. Uh, it'll allow it to have a steady hash rate on there and you'll start to see actually how much Bitcoin you're gonna earn per day. And that's gonna show up up top here. So it says current actual profitability up here. And it's gonna give you kind of an idea. It's an estimate. And it's an estimate in that moment. Um, then what you're gonna have is, and the nice thing is about NiceHash is you get paid out for your earnings. You can see, check it out. So up top here, next payout is in 53 minutes. So every like hour, you're gonna get paid out. Whatever's in this pending area right here, you're gonna get that paid out directly into your NiceHash Bitcoin wallet. Now. Don't get all concerned about, hey, like not my keys, not my crypto. You can come in here and you can withdraw this Bitcoin to your cold wallet, to whatever wallet you want, as often as you want. It's really simple. Uh, up top here, as time will go on, there's a drop down box and there's a withdrawal option. And you can go through setting up your external address. I actually withdraw mine about once a month. Once a month, I go on NiceHash, and I go ahead, it's a nice little you know, nice little egg there, a little nest egg, and I just withdraw it directly to my address. I've never had any issues with NiceHash, never had, had any challenges getting this off of NiceHash. And where my thought is and where my goal is here is to see, you know, maybe this is a home run and to see, hey, you know, will I end up earning more overall? My overall earnings, will it end up being more, especially with the price of Bitcoin recently, will it end up being more per day, per week, or per, per month mining directly to NiceHash with my Ice River KS0 and earning the Bitcoin payouts. I guess we'll have to see. Alrighty guys, so that is going to wrap things up for today. As I said, give it a little time. It's really gonna take some time to go ahead and actually see some good true metrics. 
be honest with you, I'll probably check this again tomorrow. Give it a good 24 hours before I check back on it. But that's gonna wrap things up. I'll leave a comment down below on how this has really gone for me after about a week. Let you guys know what I'm seeing. Maybe after a month, I'll comment down below. But give this a try. I mean, hey, it can't hurt. As much as I love Caspa, guess what I love more of? That, that big orange guy, Bitcoin, 100%. Well, guys, thank you guys very much for joining me today. If you want to be notified when I drop my next video, go ahead and click that bell, and I'll see you guys next time.